Hello, this is Olive from Better Play. Nice to meet you. Happy to meet you every Saturday. We are going to have a live stream on every Saturday talking about those indoor playgrounds we've built. Okay, and uh, uh, look at the back. These are the Hokkaido franchises playground for your reference. Uh, when I'm talking about the indoor playground, you can see uh, all kinds of indoor playground that our Hokkaido franchise can have. And today we are going to talk about how to build a high ROI indoor playground. What does ROI mean? It means return on investment. Okay, when we are going to build an indoor playground, what do you care most? Can you tell me what do you care most? Some people may say design. Okay, and some other people may say uh, the environment, the interior design, right? And I believe there's something we cannot, uh, we cannot miss. That's the return on investment. That's what we are talking about today. The return on investment. Okay. Uh, so, how to make a high ROI indoor playground uh, become the most important thing. Uh, become the most mo most important thing uh, we should think about. Uh, because we can only earn money when our customers can earn money. So we must think for our customers in advance because we know our customers care about high ROI, their return on investment. That's why we uh, must think for our customers how to make a high ROI in the playground. Okay, to build a high ROI in the play playground, site chores is one of the crucial aspects. The location of the indoor playground decided the people flew to your playground. And people flew, this means your income. So choose a busy place to build your playground is 50% is of success. Okay, uh, site location is usually chosen by customers. So what we can do and what we can do for the rest of 50% of success, success I would say design with marketing research. Uh, with Pokido, you usually do market research for our customers to check out to check around the population at different ages. Because only when you find out your biggest customer group, you can choose the right equipment and theme for your playground. Okay, here's a new uh, here's a new friend joined our uh, live show. Hello, welcome. This is Olive from Better Play, and we are talking about how to build a high ROI indoor playground today. Uh, high ROI means return on investment. And behind me, these are the videos of our French, uh, Pokido franchises. Right now, we just talk about uh, the first 50% of success to make a high ROI uh, playground. That's the location uh, selection the site selection. It's something usually decided by customers. 
And uh, now we're going to talk about what we can do on the rest of 50% of success. That is, we Pokido do marketing research for our customers to check around the population at different ages. Because only when you find out your biggest customer group, you can choose the right equipment and the theme for your playground. By doing market research, you can also find out how is your nearby competitor's playground look like. So we can try to avoid repeating same design and make our playground outstanding. With the data from our market research, we can know the average ticket cost from, uh, for the nearby indoor playground. Then we can think about what we can add into our indoor playground to help our customers get more income and save the cost. The equipment prices is quite clear on this market. I should say, uh, good qualities like with EN and uh, ASTM standard are at one level, and bad quality materials that are in another level. That depends on what you are going to seek for. Of course, uh, some good qualities and high-end design in the playground will help will help you get higher ticket higher administration uh, ticket price. You can have higher administration entering fee, right? So basically, basically say customers cost on each playground, uh, on each play equipment are not much different. So the crucial aspect that determine your success is, uh, which determine your success, uh, which determine your return on investment is your income. The more ways you have for making income, the higher return on your investment you can have. And uh, now we are going to show you some sales data of one of our Pokido franchise in Wenzhou. Okay, please wait a second. We are uh, making the we we are adjust our computer, and uh, we're going to show you the Pokido uh, franchise sales data. Hello, Anna. He hello, Anna. Welcome to join us. This is Olive from Better Play, and we are going to talk about the high ROI indoor playground. Right now, we just uh, talk about the uh, the the sales data uh, of the indoor playground. And now we are going to show you some sales data of one of our uh, Wenzhou Pokido franchise for reference. Okay, this is the uh, sales data of our franchise, uh, Pokido franchise in Wenzhou. As you can see, this playground has 1,500 square meters, and uh, uh, it located in Wenzhou, Zhejiang, China, and uh, it was opened in November 13th. In this playground, you can see we have some uh, indoor football game, uh, dark slam game on trampoline, uh, 300 a degree bicycle and the zip line and so on games. This is the tag. Yes, this is the tag. My daughter's favorite game and it is favored by lots of lots of adults too. Tag your company. Yeah, okay, no problem. We can show you some uh, we can show you some more data sales data about the uh, this this franchise. PPT please. And this is the set from this page. From this page, uh, please, could you please mm, and change me? Yeah, at, at the bottom. Yeah. Yes. 
this button and yeah. Okay, uh, from the PPT above, you can see uh, this is the investment of this Pocato franchise playground. You can see uh, they spent about uh, 380,000 for the equipment and uh, 140,000 for the uh, decoration and uh, another 55,000 for rent deposit and uh, uh, another 15,000 for other costs. This is their total investment, investment before their uh, playground opening. Next page, please. And then here is the ongoing investment. What does it mean? Ongoing investment means your monthly cost after the playground was opened. Okay, so for this playground, uh, their monthly cost is 2,000 US dollar. Uh, th this is their cash, cash reserve. And uh, their operation and payover is 15,000 per month. And the monthly rent is 18,500. So this is their ongoing investment. With this sales data, you can uh, uh, you can do a similar you can do a similar research about how much you need to do for start up investment and ongoing investment of your indoor playground. Could you please send to me the PPT, please? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we are going to show you the monthly revenue of this indoor playground. See, on the first uh, uh, month they opened in November, they earned they they earned about thirty five thousand. And the next month, December, their income is sixty two thousand. And January, their income is seventy two thousand. And in February, that's Chinese New Year holiday, so lots of people come to play, and their re, uh, their their revenue is one hundred fifty thousand. Next page, please. And here is the revenue st structure of the uh, of this playground. Uh, this means how do they uh, uh, how do their uh, money come? Okay, the biggest part is come from the ticket sales, like the administration entering ticket, and uh, uh, the second big part is membership. Uh, some people charge VIP for like uh, annual tickets or uh, monthly seasonally tickets like this. We call this VIP membership income. And uh, the third big part is party and events. In this playground, they have a big party room, which for holding uh, team buildings, uh, birthday parties, and uh, anniversary parties, and all kinds of parties in this uh, in this area, and this brings them about 20% of their total income. So, uh, if your space is a uh, if your space is allowed, a big party room, a good party room is very important for you, and is a very good way to add your revenue. And the last part is the merchandise. As you know, uh, people would feel thirsty or hungry when spending the whole day in your playground. So you should serve some snacks and water, what, something like that, to serve people's need. And for this part, it, it's about 1% of the income of the whole playground. Okay, then there, uh, this is a predict of, uh, this is a, re this page is a revenue predict, predict of this playground. But what we can see is, uh, in the real sales data, what we can see is this indoor playground earned their return on investments just within six months. That's a very, that, that's a very fast return. Could you please send to next PPT, please? Yeah. Oh, nine months, nine months, not six months. Okay, so, this is a de this is definitely a high return on investment playground. If you can do a marketing research uh, before you invest your playground and design with this kind of 
uh, design with all the thoughts that you think for your customers, of course, you would have a high return on your investment too. Well, Yes, this is the sales data of our uh, franchise uh, of our franchise in Wenzhou. This playground is located in a food court, and uh, where there are many young people come to have dinner with their family or lovers. So we targeted before we designed this playground. We targeted the main customer age is. Uh, like young kids from 5 to 15 years old and uh, adults from tw 20 to 35. And besides local people, there are also lots of foreigners, uh, a big group of foreigners in this area. And the foreigners love exciting activities. So we, when, we design this, when we design this playground, uh, we chose to design it as a family sport fun center with some exciting sports games and adventure games. As you can see in this PPT, there were some uh, 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 there are ha there are some mag magical devil slide and uh, uh, high high air rope course, zip lines, and uh, uh, and and the bungee jump. In this, uh, in, in this playground. So uh, beside this Pokido Park, we have another 58 Pokido franchise in China and four in abroad. There are many brand of indoor playground has born in China and abroad, and many of them closed not long after opening. Uh, some because of they are not well designed, some, of, some because of they are not well operated, and some because of the uh, hard time during the epidemic. While uh, we Pokido survived and even make good profit in such a hard epidemic time, the most important reason is we do research before design and think of fo uh, followed operating during design. And uh, our CEO, Mr. Bao, always say, no design before marketing research and no good design would come out without thinking about the followed operating issue. As what we can see during the operate, uh, as I have mentioned that we have many franchise, uh, many Pokido franchise in China, so they all, all of them use our own uh, checking data, uh, checking systems, so we have the uh, sales data record, which are all based on real data numbers, that uh, that bring that bring us a good uh, confidence on what we should move on for uh, operate uh, for operating and design. And when we uh, design, we think about the followed operating stage, and we collect, uh, we train the staff how to operate the uh, playground. And we train the staff how to uh, how, how to attract more uh, people flu on internet. These are all included in operating. So if you if you place order with we for a pocket of franchise, we will also help you uh, training your staff about uh, the operating and think about the operating methods uh, and think about the advertisement on uh, on internet. And also, we provide you uh, the whole playground interior design to make you uh, a beautiful playground that can uh, that allow pe that attracts people to uh, post uh, nice videos on their uh, internet, so as to help you attract more uh, more more players or more customers. And this is what we think during our design. And this is also the answer to the question why we charge design fee. Okay, hello Tina, welcome to join us. We're talking about how to build a high ROI indoor playground. 
And uh, right now we just uh, talked about uh, a, 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 a franchise in Wenzhou, and we showed the sales data of this Pogito franchise uh, with high return on investment. And uh, if you can uh, send us, if you ha and if you have a playground uh, that are waiting for build, please feel free to send us your company, uh, your playground CB, and uh, send us the location. We will do the marketing research for you. Also, during design, we will think about uh, how to help you operating in the future. And this is the answer uh, to the question why we charge design fee. Because we don't only work on design, we think as a playground runner, uh, we think how to help our customers to uh, win, uh, win their return on investment better, and we design for follow the is uh, for follow steps like uh, how to easily and costlessly operating for the playground owner, and we are building the successful base for your investment. So, uh, a famous host in China, Mr. Bai, Mr. Bai, Bai Yanshan has said. Expensive things has no other problems except expensive, while what cheap things have is only cheap and heavy. So uh, when we when we start to design for you, that means we are thinking we are standing on your position. We are thinking about how to help you earn money, not only design or not only make the design for the playground. And now let me show you more successful franchise be, uh, franchise videos. Yes, could you please show more videos about our franchise? Thank you.
Today we are talking about uh, some self data that we Pokedo has recorded from our franchise, and uh, we are showing you how fast our Pokedo has uh, winning our investment back. These uh, behind me, these are some videos of our franchise. The, these videos are taken f uh, by our franchise owner or some. Uh, some players who love to share on internet. As you can see from the videos, uh, they have very good people flu and uh, they have very good income for this playground. During such a hard time, uh, so many indoor playground uh, brand has fall down after they uh, not long after they opened, and uh, a lot of them closed during the epidemic time, but we Pokedo still survive and has uh, 58 franchise in China, and uh, uh, we make good profit. That's the, uh, what's the secret? That's because we always focus on the return on investment when we do designing. And uh, before we do designing, we always make uh, market research. Later we are going to show you again about how to do the market research for the playground. Now we are going to show you what kind of service our uh, Pokedo would have. Yes, please be busy, please. Okay, here's uh, above me. This is a basically introduce about our Pokedo for new friends who just came in. You can take a look. Uh, we Pokedo is an indoor playground, uh, indoor trampoline park, and an adventure park builder. Uh, we provide one-stop service from uh, designing and uh, uh, market research, uh, manufacturing, and uh, delivery, even installation abroad. Okay, and. Uh, uh, we are the manufacturer with, uh, with, with 15 years experience. We have about more than 150 production staff and uh, 28,000 square meter factory, uh, high-end facilities. And uh, uh, we have totally four production lines which allow us to uh, produce different equipment for indoor playground. And uh, in China, we have about uh, we have 58 franchise in China, and we have another four franchise abroad. abroad. So uh, welcome to join us, uh, become a Pokedo franchise, or you can also let us design and uh, manufacture the per, uh, the playground equipment for your playground. And besides designing and uh, up. Uh, Besides designing and uh, manufacturing the equipment, we can also provide installation for you if you need. Well, and the last part is the main key that we survive 
uh, and uh, uh, the one. Yeah. Uh, the the last part is the secret why we poquito survive and make good profit during such a hard time because we design from the operate operator operators view when we do the designing for you we make ourselves think on the operator's view uh, we think we first do marketing research around and uh, we think about uh, how to help the uh, playground owner to reduce the cost and uh, uh, how to operate easily in the future so that's the reason that we poquito survive during the half time and make good profit and has more and more franchise. Okay, the next the next PPT. This PPT is about uh, what kind of supporting service we can offer besides the designing, manufacturing, and everything. We also uh, provide interior design. Uh, for example, uh, some pl uh, some playgrounds are. are uh, are built, uh, uh, some, some playground are changed from some old factories. They have very um, big and high space, but uh, the decoration is quite poor and uh, uh, we can do the uh, interior design uh, for the roof, for the ceiling, for the whole playground, for the counter, and uh, um, even for some souvenir for your, uh, for, for, for your playground if you need. And uh, the second support we can help is uh, marketing consulting. Uh, we offer consulting service and share experience on marketing and promotion strategies to grow your business. The third support, uh, the third support we can offer is operation training and consulting. Uh, we offer operation training uh, service for our clients, no matter you are. Uh, uh, our Poquito franchise or not? Uh, we because we ha we have our own check-in system, which helps us collect a lot of uh, sales data, successful sales data during the op operating of these fifty-eight franchise. So we have lot we have lots of experience that we have lots of good experience can share with you. And, and to help you operate a successful trampoline business, trampoline park business. Yes, next part, please, next page. And uh, uh, if you become our franchise, we can offer you a self-development management system uh, to ensure efficient operation like ticketing, membership, management, sales data, and so on. And we also offer uh, graphic design support. We will help you design the post to, for you to post in your playground or uh, help you post them on internet so you can attract people to come to your playground. And the last one, uh, what we can help you um, if you become our franchise, that is uh, adapt to latest trend. Uh, we will keep updating uh, popular attractions to meet the trend, thus make park more competitive and uh, increase cust uh, consumer re uh, repti rep reputation. And uh, if you are one of our Poquito franchise, we will offer this kind of uh, uh, latest news freely every time. Okay. And next part, we can see uh, there are men. Uh, this is our Poquito team. Uh, the first one, uh, the, the one in the big picture picture is our Poquito founder, CEO, Mr. Bao, and uh, uh, other teams that like marketing team, design team, domestic sales, and international sales. These are the office team uh, of our Poquito. Okay, next part, I'm going to introduce our, uh, no, actually some, uh, different park styles for you. Okay, uh, next part, please. Yes. Um, when you say I'm going to build an indoor playground, actually you can have many, many different styles, different themes, different choices. Uh, for example, like uh, uh, 
indoor playground, entertainment playground, which just a target for small kids. Yeah. So in this kind of uh, entertainment uh, playground, we will we really focus on kids. Uh, play equipment like uh, the slides, trampoline, sand ball pit, and some pretending games, and uh, rainbow climbing net, etc. Uh, these games are just uh, easy for kids to play and enjoy, and doesn't have much re uh, doesn't have much uh, crucial request on the playground height or size. So, uh, if you have a small indoor playground that want to design uh, mainly for small kids, like uh, 5 to 12 ages. Uh, this kind of playground would be a good choice for you. We have the phone in. Uh, yes. We have some videos to show you about this kind of... Correctly. I hope I pronounced your name correctly. <laughs> but anyway, thank you for joining us. We are talking about the uh, we are talking about how to build a high ROI for Guido for, uh, indoor playground today. And just now we have showed you a playground style that is focused for young kids, uh, aged within fi uh, from five years old to twelve years old. For this kind of indoor playground. Um, Slides and ball pits are very important, and uh, mm, uh, you can also add a big birthday party room if you have the space. Uh, this will help you uh, increase about 20% of income. And next uh, type we are going to introduce is trampoline park. Uh, trampoline park can be used for all age, uh, even young kids and uh, old people who love to play can enjoy the trampoline park as well. Uh, trampoline park is mainly focused on a big space of free jump trampolines and together with some uh, ex uh, exciting, uh, ex exciting games uh, like, uh, 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 like the free falls or foam pit, such kind of games can be combined together with the trampoline. And uh, here's a video uh, we show you, like uh, a 
uh, make our franchise in hand. <laughs> Showed you the trampoline themed park, and the next one we are going to show you is a magic park like uh, this kind of magic park with lots of our uh, LED lights, uh, which we mainly uh, target young people like uh, uh, 20 above. They love exciting games and uh, uh, like ma um, with some. Magic ma with some magicians and some cool, uh, some cool uh, cool sports games with some cool lights, and uh, uh, like for 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 this one we are going to show you our Hangzhou uh, magic space for your reference. <laughs> This video was taken in at daytime. At night, you can uh, you would you will be able to see the trampolines are all uh, are all glowed up with special design and uh, there are uh, lots of LED lights and special light, light designs that allow people to uh, play at, at at night. Okay, the next style we are going to show you is sports park. 
which targets for teenagers and uh, uh, people who love sports and adventures. Such, uh, in this kind of park, in this kind of sports park, people would mainly, uh, uh, the most attraction games would be like the tag or indoor football or in uh, like the uh, 300 degree bicycles. These are, th these exciting sports games would change people's muscle. Uh, you can enjoy, you, you can enjoy their fun when you uh, when you exercise in your body. Okay, we are going to show you a video. <laughs> teenagers but also very popular for young for young people and uh, uh, small kids like five years old so uh, depend on different tar target customer we can design different tag games and in one tag game you can exercise your body in many many different wa ways like jumping uh, touching and twistering your body and running uh, and uh, 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 yeah, like, uh, like, like like this, like uh, the, like the parkour game and climbing, uh, many many games and many many ways to enjoy uh, to exercise your body so you can enjoy the sports with fun, and that's why it becomes more and more popular lately. But this this kind of game requests a big space. If you have a big space, don't miss out this game. No matter it is for young kids or teenagers or adults, I'm sure they would all of, uh, old, old age people would love it. I think the next one we're going to show you is the uh, rope course. The rope course. It is 
uh, it's not a uh, okay it's not a park uh, it's not a park style but it can be a good theme for the uh, for uh, for an adventure park because uh, uh, when we're doing the rope course we wear some safety belts and uh, uh, help yourself keep balance and walk all around the playground uh, you can do it together with your family or uh, with the with it's a great activity for uh, for parents and kids to enjoy and uh, charge kids uh, and charge kids encouragement mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, the, this is the rope course adventure challenge. Uh, you can see from this PPT, uh, it, it requests, uh, this, this game requests a very high space. And uh, this, uh, and on the, pic, on the picture, on, uh, in the picture on right side, it, it shows a Kuala rope course, which is developed by we, Hokkaido and uh, a France brand called Atus. Uh, this this game uh, this is the late this is the latest literally most popular adventure game in China. Okay, uh, since we have watched so many different theme of the park of uh, in the playground, you may be interested to know uh, how should I choose the games? Okay, first we should think about your main target customer's age. That's why I said at the beginning we should do the market research before we doing the design. Uh, if your target customer is like the young kids, uh, like five years old, so you just do a, a, a popular indoor playground with slides and uh, a ball pits, uh, climbing nets, like this kind of easy, easy but entertainment fun games. And if your target customer is like uh, teenagers or uh, young people, you should add some uh, sports or uh, more exciting games. And if your target customer is like a, a family, uh, uh, like, like, like family farm, uh, old age people, so you can design, you can combine all kinds of game in your playground as long as your your playground has be, has good enough space and uh, and enough height okay uh, in the following uh, in the following minutes we are going to show you some uh, some 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 cases uh, that we Hokkaido have built Hello, hello, new friend. Welcome to join us. We're talking about how to build a high ROI in the playground uh, in today's live show. And today, uh, it's almost at the end of the live show. And now we are going to show you some projects that we have been uh, we have built. Okay, please, 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 could you please show the PPT? Mm -hmm. Yes. This is our Pokédo franchise in Madrid, Spain. Yes, and we have some videos of this indoor playground to show you.
welcome to joining us. Welcome to join today's live show. Today we talked about uh, how to build a high ROI return on a high return on investment uh, indoor playground. And it's about the end of today's live show. And we are going to show you some more cases that we have built. Okay, the next, uh, the previous case we just showed you is the franchise in Madrid, Spain. Next one, we are going to show you our franchise in Hangzhou, China. Please watch the video behind. Okay, welcome back. Uh, we still have many, many videos about our franchise for your reference. But because today's time is quite limited and uh, we can't show more videos, if you're interested to see more uh, cases that we have built, uh, please feel free to contact us and we will, sell you, we will send you more pictures or, uh, or, or videos. And uh, you can check uh, the above PPT. Uh, this one is our Lampa franchise in China, and this one is Wenzhou franchise in China. And here are some more like Tongxiang, and Hangzhou, uh, Daqing, and okay. yeah, we, we have many different franchises. In we have we have fifty eight franchise in China, and uh, uh, they survive and uh, make good profit during such a hard epidemic time because we have our secret. We think about, uh, we, th we do marketing research for our customers and design on the operator's view. We know and, w and we have the real data collected from our checking systems. Uh, we have confidence that how to uh, attract people through to our stores and we have enough experience to help you how to advise, advise your playground and uh, help you attract people on the internet. Okay, feel free to contact us and we look forward to help you win an indoor playground business. Okay, we are going to meet you uh, next uh, Saturday. Every Saturday we are going to talk about some indoor playground of our Hokkaido franchise and we are going to show you some uh, we are going to share with you some ex successful experience that we have uh, um, uh, or some successful tips we have had. Okay. Hello, uh, hello, this new friend, welcome to join us. Uh, unfortunately, it is the end of today's live show. Uh, we have no more time to sh share with you more uh, videos or uh, more material. In, uh, if you are interested in building an indoor playground, please feel free to contact with us. Okay, it's the time. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.